Hey guys, it's Paul here. In today's video, we're going to look at the most scenic hike in Taiwan. The Teapot Mountain hike is one of the most scenic hikes you'll do in Taiwan and it was one of my most favorite experiences. The trail itself is about 3.5 kilometers long, considered moderate difficulty. It's located in the northeastern part of Taiwan and to get there it's about 10 minute bus ride from Fen or about 2 hours from Taipei uh, via the bus, the 1062 bus. And then the other option is to take a taxi there, which can take between 45 to 60 minutes depending on where you catch your taxi in Taipei and uh, the traffic that day. We entered the trail via the Gold Museum in Jingguashi and the Gold Museum cost for admission is 80 Taiwanese dollars. You can pay in cash or by Easy Pass. And then you can, since you already paid for admission to the museum, I would recommend to check out some of the exhibits and also even pan for gold yourself, but that's an additional fee. And then the main attraction is the 220 kilogram gold bar, uh, which used to be the world record for largest bar. And I would recommend checking this out either before or after your hike. To get to the trailhead, just follow the path through the museum until you get to this short bridge. This is the last time you can use a restroom, so find one in the museum, use it if you need it, and then continue on to get to the trailhead for the Teapot Mountain hike. Once you see the short bridge, just continue on this pathway and you'll start seeing residential streets and homes continue past a cat cafe on this walkway. It may seem a little odd, but eventually you reach a cross section with a sign for a trail to the Teapot Mountain. We just got to the Gold Museum. We walked through it and we're starting the Teapot Mountain Trail. And as you can see up there, that's the teapot. It's shaped as a teapot. Keep walking down the path and you'll eventually hit this sign and it says Teapot Mountain and then this is your stairs leading up. There are a lot of stairs from here to the top. This trail has a lot of stairs, it's paved most of the way so far. Here's the view currently. The view here is amazing. Looking down from the pavilion on top, you will see the Yin and Yang Sea, mountains, and Taiwan's coastline. There is not much tree coverage, so if it's a sunny day, consider bringing a hat, water, sunglasses, snacks, and sunscreen. There was minimal bugs or mosquitoes the day we went in March. However, uh, it is advisable to bring bug spray as there can be quite a bit of mosquitoes and bugs during the summer months. After climbing for about 10 to 15 minutes, we noticed that there is a road that leads up much closer to the actual Teapot Mountain trailhead. We saw cars driving up the trailhead, which we had no idea was possible. If you do not want to hike through the Gold Museum to reach the trail, you can do a tour that will bring you to the beginning of the trail. I will leave a link in the description for a private tour that will take you to Teapot Mountain. Overall, the trail is a lot of stairs and there is some boulder scrambling at the peak of Teapot Mountain that must be done to pass through to reach the other side of the trail. If you continue past this part of the trail, you'll get amazing panoramic views of the mountains, oceans, and Taiwan's coast. Sometimes the grass can be a little overgrown, so it is recommended that you wear long sleeves and pants to protect your skin. According to others and Google Maps, it is possible to hike your way through all the way to Jofen Old Street or even back down to the Gold Museum without backtracking on this trail. We did not have time to do this. We didn't want to get lost and we just didn't have time to do that. So we would love to come back and visit and try it again.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and the tips I provided and some of the scenic views of Teapot Mountain hike. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and I'll leave a link in the description for a private tour. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.